Since the snow isn't coming up this way at Starcadia Bay State Park, do you wanna, I don't know, like find a Louis Vuitton store and get some bags? I'd like to do so, but I heard they recently ran out of bags in the store since every girl is purchasing them. Are you kidding me? Why out of every store, they have to go to ours? Not one bag is on sale? No. I recently checked what was in stock, and literally, every bags that we both like are off sale. The rest of the bags are lame, had shitty colors, and overall mediocre. Damn. Kinsey, sis, calm down. It's not the end of the world. All right, sorry. But since we can't buy any bags, I don't know what to do. Just let your anger out, and relax your mind. Hold up, let my anger out? Well if that's the case, how about we try and piss other people off, that way we can get a laugh. That would make me feel happier. Okay, okay, I like where you're thinking now. Let's roast the next couple of people that walk in our direction. Oh M gosh. Girl, you are so fucking ugly. Didn't your parents ever teach you not to dress like a hobo? Go play dress to impress on Roblox you fatherless and smelly freak. You heard my sister, get out of our faces and change that goofy ass outfit of yours. Fatherless? Seriously? Let me guess, you girls must have been born with autism from a fat lady's stomach, after she was sexed up by your nerdy ass dad with his small ass dick. Bruh, at least our parents are richer than yours. Imagine not having designer shit like us. So sad. And I assume you both are CNP queen fanatics as well, right? I'd rather have my hand chopped in a blender than be around sluts like you. Get a life. Bitch, you can't be talking right now. You're literally the size of a horse's cock, and you smell like rotten trout in a bag. Now, get the fuck out of here, you smelly piece of shit. Yeah, whatever. Enjoy being the rich brat you are. I bet she'll be crying to her mommy and daddy after she realizes she nothing but a fool with shitty clothes. Agreed Kinsey, totally agreed. Ugh. You look so ugly, you wanna be gangster. Go back to Chicago remastered you raggedy bitch boy. Yeah. How about you go get your money the right way instead of robbing people, you naughty ass thug. What are you bitches on, meth or perks? Cause I'm actually a road banger. I got some business to take care of, so go away already. Doing what, huh? Fucking other girls for money and dropping diss tracks on your ops? What a career. I bet you don't have any friends, and have less money than me and my sister. Seems like you've forgotten about what happens when you let my demons out. Boy, quit acting tough already, cause I bet in person when you talk to a girl, you're gullible as hell. One more thing. If you want a sexy girl like me, be gullible right now, and be the soft bitch boy you are. Worship me, and I might get with you, okay? You both are honestly lucky. I have to meet up with Shaheem, otherwise, I would have nailed your asses. Girl, were you actually serious? No. You think my ass would date a random brim like Kareem? I mean, the dread-headed guys are much better. That's true. After all... I heard Kareem is a pretty abusive kid, especially for a guy as small as him. Whatever then Eleanor. Moving on. Ugh. I hate fake headless kids, especially if they wear pink. You know that you look like a softie in that lame ass shirt. Yeah, by the real headless instead of being a brokey, you fake ass simpleton. I know you aren't speaking to me, right? This is literally real headless. Are you envious of something? Stop talking you filthy creature. We like boys that are real with shit, not fake ones, so fuck off, you scruffy ass pig. Go eat some pig slop you ugly monkey. Oh wait, we forgot, you don't have a mouth, or a head, so I guess your wimpy ass can't eat. Go and flex your monopoly money instead boy. Wait until I tell Wuda, Bev, and the Merrick about these two. That's right you Zimba, keep going. Don't tell me I didn't see you insult you Zimba just now right after I finished texting Stephanie on a bench nearby. Um, 
Of course we did insult that fake headless faggot. What are you gonna do about it, Brokey? Just remember, we have rich parents, and they'll milk you for everything you got if you piss us off. Your mother is a worker at my friend Valerie's modeling agency. I can give her a phone call about what you did. Oh crap, I didn't know you were aware about that. Yep. That's right. Don't even think that I haven't seen the shit you said to the people before you Zimba, cause I seen it. I just stayed silent on a bench to see how far you take it. Now Kenzie and Alamore, do me a favor, leave the park, and I'll contact your mother in two minutes. Now, scram. I swear on my life, some of these girls are pretty as fuck. It's so retarded. Kinsey and Eleanor, what is the meaning of this crap? Talking smack at people, as well as judging them by their appearance and wealth? Absolutely unacceptable behavior young ladies. That's right, cause it's very judgmental, disrespectful, and quite hurtful. For that, you both are grounded for three days. Go to your rooms right now.